Hi there, folks. Welcome back to the Variety Show Podcast, Episode 3. Hope you've all had a fantastic Easter. My name is James Clark. I am your humble host for this Variety Show Podcast. In the news, on Thursday, Jim Marshall passed away. He was the legendary guitar designer and amplifier designer of Marshall Guitars. Later on in the same week, last night as a matter of fact, Michael Wallace, also known as Mike Wallace, the interrogator, the cross-examiner of CBS and 60 Minutes, passed away last night in a Connecticut care center. Rest in peace, Mr. Wallace. We, in the broadcast community, will miss you. Joining us in the studio is independent musician Timothy Clark, and today we will be discussing Whistlephone. Now, I hit upon this application last time, and I gave some pros and cons, but this time, from somebody who's owned it, we're going to get his perspective on the application. All right, folks, uh, happy Easter. Uh, I have uh, some Easter candy here. Mm. Um, I have uh, these really addicting peanut butter eggs. Um, but we're talking about whistle foam, right? Yes, we will be discussing whistle phone today, and I was hoping we could get your perspective of it. Um, you know, how good is it? What's it do? Because last show I gave some pros and cons of it. I said it was a nice little application, and I would recommend it from what I've seen. I've never actually tried the program, and I thought it'd be nice to have a perspective uh, from somebody who's actually used the program. Well, so, uh, Timothy, take it away. Um, I don't really know. Um. I don't really know what's going on right now um, with the whole payment thing. They decided that they were going to, at least from what I'm able to see, oh man, that was really good. At least from what I'm able to see, they are starting to actually make people pay, but I'm not sure. So... Now, what- I was able to use this application before this all started. So, now, would, so would you assume they went platinum? Or I mean, uh, um, I would. I would. I would assume that they um, started uh, payment plans. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, you were saying about using it. Well, their payment plans are like literally pennies. Wow. Um. So it is cheap. Um. But I, like I said, I did get a chance to use it before uh, I, uh, before they did this, and uh, I have to say, whistle phone before that was absolutely amazing. I was able to make free calls, free twenty minute long calls to anywhere, whether it be a landline or a cell phone, anywhere in the USA. How about twenty minute long phone calls anywhere in the USA for free? How about and uh, quality? was absolutely fantastic. Could you do Canada or the United Kingdom? You could if you paid the, I think it was one cent a minute for the UK and Canada. That's what I'm saying. It's literally cents. One cent a minute. Now, how much, how much was the plan? I, they, 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 their plans are, pays, uh, it looks like they're pay as you go. Now that's, um, now, now, now that's not bad. Let, let's say you made a, uh, say, 10-minute call to, I don't know, Budapest. Okay, and that's probably, you know, two cents a minute, three mm, cents a minute. Around there, around there, yeah. So you're on there for 10 minutes. Let's say it's two cents per minute, and that's 20 pennies. The most expensive call I've ever seen was, I think, I think five cents. That was a cheap, that was the most expensive call I've ever seen. Five cents for an international call is not bad. Now, now that was for what? Five minutes? No, um, it was five cents to a different location. I forget where it was. It was it was like a third world It was like a third world country, like Africa or something. Now, besides what's going on, would you in the current affairs would you recommend signing up? Uh, and getting an account and trying to get this off the ground for people. Well, uh, what I would like to see them do is bring back the free thing. And if they do that, then yeah. Um, I, I would hope that you guys would, you know, take advantage of that. Get it. Because it really is phenomenal once it's free. But, and, and again, you know, I would rather pay 
you know, a dollar for a 100 minute long call to Mexico. I, you know, to talk to friends, if I, if I, if I had, you know, Mexican friends, Mm. then a $100, uh, you know, $100. Because when you look at house phones or cellular phones, you know, you're paying a bill, 60, 70, uh, sometimes even a hundred dollars a month Yeah, for just a phone bill. And a hundred, a hundred, uh, minutes to Mexico would be a dollar around there. Yeah. Compared to 50, 60, $70 of a phone bill plan. And that's, and that's a month. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if you only made, you know, if you made 20 international calls, you might only be paying, you know, bucks. twenty dollars, assuming that you know, you know, they're you know, a hundred or so minutes. Yeah, yeah. But the a point okay, I pointed so that's out, not bad. A point I pointed out to somebody, I don't remember who, but it was not on this podcast, so I'll make it now. But the point I pointed out was twenty minutes for a phone call, a free phone call is not bad at all. I mean, for me, I'm on the phone ten minutes at the most, and it's a technical problem. I'm off the phone in those 10 minutes. I didn't even go over 20 minutes. I'm on the phone two minutes. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. So, you know, who? 20 minutes. I mean, if they, if, if, uh, if they fix this free thing or whatever. If, if going you on, really want 20 minutes, go and actually go and, and you can register your, your, your um, thing, mm-hmm. your, your whistle phone. Yeah. And. You can get, you know, unlimited calls. Yeah. So uh, you can get unlimited calls. I think they're longer than 20 minutes if you register your whistle phone. So right now. And I think they're free if you're in the U.S. Right now, as we speak, you could essentially register your whistle phone account and make free calls after registering. I want to try that. Play button. Real quick. Finder. I apologize that you're having a, a screen reader. Uh, interference. That's right fine. Here. I I made the comment a couple episodes ago. I don't remember if it was the first one or the next or the last one, but uh, I made the comment that I was a blind person. So I wanted to actually ask you, Timothy, uh, from a blind person's perspective, how was it in uh, accessibility uh, screen reader? System preferences. Ellipsis. Um. Well, apart from the fact that I don't know where you go to register, I'm guessing um, you go in here. About account me. There you go. Whistle window. HTML. That's um, what I assumed you went to too. I, I I'm a smart blind guy. Yeah. Um. Now now I I didn't I didn't say that for laughs. Most blind people are stupid. Well, I was hoping we wasn't gonna get into this, but you're absolutely right. Um, um, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. I just wanted to make that comment. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's Timothy Clark with his upfront, uh, commentary. <laughs> but, uh, um, and no, I'm not pointing fingers to the blind people that listen to this podcast. If we do have any, uh, uh we probably, have probably the ones that listen to this are actually probably the smart ones. Probably. Cause I don't sugarcoat any bullshit. Uh, uh-uh. <laughs> um, but I think whistle phone for the most part is. Progress indicator, HTML content, a decent app. There he goes. A decent application. I would just like them to. In regards to accessibility or decent in every way. I think. Link. Getting started. I would have to say decent in every way. To be honest with you. Because. Go premium. Yeah, look, you have to go premium. See, they want you to go premium. Well, so it is indeed. They took away the. The, USA pop up button. They 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 took away the um button. the free calling. Alaska Rick continuous. Alaska. Well, no, I don't no, know no. what this. No, what, what no, I see this is, I see a continuous so button. I was gonna. It's continuous, isn't it? Continuous. Mm-hmm. Radio. Continuous. Ah. Continuous. Okay. Alaska. Radio. And you have Alaska. Hawaii. Radio. Hawaii. Hawaii. Zero minutes. So out of curiosity, Alaska. what if I set Alaska. this Radio to button. Alaska? Alaska. Radio button two or three. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Okay. Um, I just wanted you. I just wanted you to know Alaska, that. Hawaii, Hawaii, zero minutes. So I have zero minutes there. Too. So no matter what you select, it's going to come up saying zero minutes. Your account, you don't have premium. Support. Link. Link. Get support. Link. Image. They. Ng. Link. Did. On Twitter. Take. Facebook. Link. The free part out. On. Hang on. Link. Image. Support. I'm. I'm gonna. End of list. Link. Terms of service. I'm gonna. Privacy. Try this. Link. 
Dopinium. Because now the reason why I'm going to click this. Dopinium. I know I'll explain this. A lot of you guys might be thinking, no, you don't click on Go Premium. That's stupid. But I actually have a logical explanation for that. And here it is. When you click on call forwarding, you have to pay for that. But there are credits you can put into your account. There are free credits that gives you free, uh, that gives you the the uh, uh, the the free amount of dollars that, that it would take in credits to change your number. Okay. Did somebody call me? No, it was mine. Oh, but, but they give you, you know, the credits to change your number and to give call forwarding, which is why I clicked on this, because my hope, although I'm probably going to be sorely disappointed, but my hope is <clears throat> that they give you a, uh, a uh, thing to... Uh, do credit. To go to the HTTPS slash slash www.whistlephone.com slash login. Okay, you gotta go to internet, login. Sign into your account. Sign into your account. Go premium. Link to the go list premium. List. list two items. Link. Privacy policy. Okay, yeah, and then you're gonna have to pay for it. Four click the go All premium. Right. Link well, to the my service tab. There you go. Um, So, Timothy, just, just to recap, you would not recommend Whistlephone for what reason? I didn't necessarily say that I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, well, would you I recommend would it? I would recommend it if they set up the uh, the free thing. Uh, and I would also recommend it to those people who would be willing to pay to use the services. Now, again, it's a pay-as-you-go thing. Okay? So you might only have to pay about $0.07, cents, you know, so, so as you can get your account up and running. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's cheap. Okay, seven cents, you know, to a dollar. That that that's cheap. That's yeah, absolutely. Now, now with that in mind, if you pay that seven cents to a dollar, whatever it is, I, I don't I don't know what it is because I didn't look. Mm. If you pay that, what that will do is it will enable you to pay as you go. So if you're making calls in the USA, you're good. You don't have to pay anything. But if you're making international calls, you have to pay things. But it's now, really cheap. Now, the th it, yes, it's really cheap. Now, the thing is, you are going to have to pay. Pro I think it's like a dollar to. I, I, th I, th I think it really depends on like if you're going to make an international call. But I know you're going to have to pay something to get going. Mm. Okay. I doubt. It's going to be any more than two dollars. I doubt it. Well, I really Timothy, do. Well, Timothy, thanks for joining us and giving your in-depth and honest opinions on Whistlephone. You got anything to say? Uh, simply that if you guys would like a podcast based upon the music industry, uh, as an independent DIY musician, which for you guys that don't know what that is, it's it's uh, a musician without a record label who does everything themselves. They're DIY. They that means do it yourself. They're a do it yourself musician. DIY. Okay. They're DIY musicians. They're do it yourself musicians. If you want a podcast like that, that gives you monthly advice uh, from the standpoint of an independent DIY musician, myself, <sighs> go to iTunes in the iTunes uh, store and type in Timothy Clark. You're going to find a podcast. It's the first one there. It says Timothy Clark on AloneTone.com. Go in there, subscribe. AloneTone.com is the host, which is uh, the, the um, server hosting, which is why it says that. So go in there, subscribe, and be prepared to get musical advice from independent musicians. And you might even get musical advice from sure. experts. And that's about it. All right. Thanks, Timothy. Mm-hmm.